Who at the station do you think would be the best bunter in a clutch situation? Oh, everybody. Besides me, right? Yeah. You can't say me. You can't I'm say gonna, yourself. I'm going to go with Bob Cooney. Bob Cooney can do a little bit of everything. So I, I think he's a, you know, he's a smaller person. So I think he'd be able to get the bunt down. Who do I think would be the best bunter at the station? I would have to go with Pat Egan. So you're asking me who would be the best bunter under pressure at 97.5 The Fanatic? Simple answer, Andrew Salchinis. I trust his baseball acumen. He's one of the coolest individuals that I know. So under pressure, he'd know to cradle the head of that bat and he wouldn't give in to the pressure. Who I think is going to be the best bunter at the Fanatic? I mean, obviously the guy that played college baseball here. And Ricky, I mean... I don't think Ricky bunted. He could swing it a little bit. I'm not as good of a hitter. I can bunt though. I would have to say Ricky Bobo Metallico. Uh, I I saw Jamie, not Jamie. I guess Judas. I would like to say Bob Cooney because he's pretty cool under pressure, but Bob's old and he's breaking down like pop up. So I'm going to go with Dylan McKinnon because no matter if you're screaming at him or you're trying to make a joke, he is the same. And he is an athletic freak. So Dylan. I want to say Andrew's the best bunter at the station because I've seen him bunt. And I don't think anyone else at the station besides maybe Ricky can bunt. Uh, me, I already said on the, the other day that I could probably be the 27th man if they added a roster spot to just bunt. The person I'd least pick here at the station, Connor Thomas. The guy I or girl I would pick here at the Fanatic to get a pressure bunt, bases loaded situation, needs to get it down. I'm going Dylan McKinnon. It's like TJ McConnell. Steps up when the pressure's not too big.